How to make fire from poop. When the world's cold and your dignity's dead, matches are gone, lighters are looted, and that last spark? It's in a Raider's cigar. Time to get creative with your resources. Before we go further, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to end up like Dave. <clears throat> Step one, find the fuel. Source some poop. Cow, horse, or that weird mutant rat thing. Dry it out. Sun, or just wave it angrily at the sky. Mix in straw, or your last shred of self-respect. If it smells like regret, you're on track. If it moves, congratulations, you are a dad. Step two, build the reactor. Shape dung into patties. Think artisanal charcoal, but sadder. Stack them neat, or just throw them. Chaos is a strategy. Decomposing poop releases methane. Methane loves fire. Light the gas, not the dung, unless you want a poop volcano. Step three, ignite or cry. Grab a container, tin can, hubcap, or your neighbor's prized trophy. Poke holes, use a knife, a rock, or pure rage. Stuff those patties in tight, like your feelings, but flammable. Light the methane vent, not the patties, unless you enjoy breathing ash. The container traps heat. The holes let methane seep out. Ignite the gas, not the dung. You're making a ghetto gasifier, not a trash fire. If it works, you've tamed the beast. And by beast, we mean literal sheet. If it fails, at least you've created a biological weapon. Hit subscribe or risk being unprepared when the apocalypse comes. And trust me, Steve the Warlord will steal your poop patties.